This is a month. This is a month. I had a full beard in the woods and then I shaved it down for you guys. I think we're exposed to a lot more than the vast majority of people in the world. With healthcare, law enforcement, firefighting, all first responders, you don't have that option to have a bad day. People's lives can end because you had a bad day and that's not acceptable. We see a lot of trauma, not necessarily a traumatic incident, but what we deem traumatic to ourselves. It's 30 years of being a medic and just seeing really terrible things. Not one thing stands out, but you've got this anxiety and stress related to it. I was angry. I was depressed, I was angry, I was anxious. I didn't understand why this had happened to me. I felt abandoned. Pretty much it was the perfect storm, and I went, what I'm doing now isn't working. I need to go into therapy, I need to speak to someone professionally. It was a really big challenge to sort of swallow my pride and go, I'm not well. I was diagnosed with acute PTSD after a very bad assault when I was working in mental health. Even though it wasn't that long ago, the system was a lot harder to navigate, the resources weren't there, and especially as a male, I was sort of told to shrug it off, it's part of your job, suck it up, and that was not the healthy approach. PTSD can take a lot of different forms. For some people, it's having the flashbacks, depression, anxiety, anger management. So it's not one size fits all, really. It's, it's unique to each person. That mentality of man up, it wasn't sustainable. People aren't able to do that. The suicide rates were going through the roof and everyone from the leadership team down to the frontline medics saw things needed to change. And I think opening up the dialogue is the biggest part of that. Being able to say, yeah, I have PTSD, that's part of who I am. Death is an emotional thing. Birth is an emotional thing. We see both ends of the spectrum. There's emotions involved. You need to talk about it. I think the, the stereotypical, like, manly man, you know, don't show emotion, just go and do your job and go home, has shifted. And just, it's making a big difference, the fact that, you know, the big burly police officers and firefighters will come up after a call and be like, hey, I was, that was terrible, let's talk about that. And you learn. It's a learning experience. Just a very high risk learning experience. There's no shame, there is no stigma. We're a family, no one's gonna judge you for having feelings. Just talk it out. It's that simple. Cool.